In a world where social media reigns supreme, the lack of authentic friendships becomes more noticeable. Building genuine connections with others is a challenge that many of us face in today's world. It's interesting to see how this struggle has been recognized by philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus throughout history. In the midst of the ever-present digital noise, the Stoics provide a philosophical refuge where solitude is seen not as a weakness, but as a powerful sanctuary for personal growth and self-exploration. Become a part of this insightful journey into their teachings where we will look into the art of nurturing genuine relationships over surface-level interactions. Discover how to bounce back from rejection with strength and embrace self-sufficiency in a world that can sometimes feel disconnected. For a complete understanding of these teachings, it's important to watch the video all the way through. Grab a pen and a notebook, pause the video and take notes. If you enjoy these lessons and find them helpful, we ask you to subscribe and become part of our community of like-minded individuals seeking wisdom. Let's explore the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and find practical strategies to overcome the challenges of our modern lives. Lesson 1. Stoic Wisdom on Solitude Having few friends isn't a flaw, but rather a chance for contemplation according to Marcus Aurelius. Think of your time alone as a holy haven, like a philosopher's cave. In this space, you can explore the depths of your mind and soul in a meaningful conversation. This time alone is a gift. Use it to your advantage by exploring your innermost thoughts and feelings. Epictetus would tell you that being alone isn't a bad thing, but rather a a great way to learn about yourself. Imagine it as a calm lake that reflects the blue sky above. Without interruption from other sources, you are free to delve deeply into your most private ideas and dreams in this serene environment. In your pursuit of self-awareness, welcome solitude. According to Seneca, being alone is like taking a warm bath and having a deep chat with yourself. Think of it as a cozy get-together with your inner self, like a night spent reading in front of the fire. Find solace in your own company as a place to plant the seeds of self, improvement and rediscover long-lost ambitions. Lesson 2. Finding True Friendship Seneca would have you look within before you point fingers at others. Take a good, hard look at your own friendliness in the mirror. Friendship is like a garden. It needs love and attention to thrive. Spread compassion and empathy like wildflowers and be the one to grow a community of friends. Think of yourself as a social landscape builder who, guided by the ideals of Stoicism, shapes your community. If you ask Marcus Aurelius, Friendship is the most important relationship you can have since it is based on understanding and respect for one another. It needs work and care to thrive, much like a garden. Put yourself out there and offer a hand to a friend before you ask them to do the same. Authenticity is the furnace where genuine connections are made. Therefore, embrace the risk of being vulnerable in friendship. Epictetus says, we go through life together, helping each other to become better versions of ourselves. Envision yourself as a pilgrim on the path of life, enriched by the company of memorable companions. Be the one who lights the way for others by radiating kindness and warmth. Real friendship is priceless, so enjoy the fullness of human connection. Lesson 3 Embracing your solitude. Isolation is a safe haven for learning about oneself. Not something to be dreaded, says Marcus Aurelius. Envision it as a tranquil hideaway, like a spiritual spa vacation. Isolation provides the perfect setting for radical metamorphosis, much like a cocoon does for a caterpillar. During this moment, 
Go inside and discover all the hidden wonders of your inner world. If you want to know what Marcus Aurelius would tell you, think of being alone as going on a road trip to unknown places, a solitary expedition. Imagine yourself as a curious visitor, making your way through a mysterious land, seeking out new insights and marveling at stunning landscapes as you go. Accept solitude as a travel partner that will help you learn more about yourself and the world. Lesson four, developing your character. A person's virtue is not defined by the quantity of their friends, says Epictetus. Character, on the other hand, is what really counts. Picture yourself as an independent fighter, equipped not with weapons, but with the qualities of restraint, knowledge, and fairness. Whenever you encounter difficulties in life, these virtues will be there to support you, like an army. No matter who you are or where you come from, Epictetus would want you to work hard to develop these traits. Imagine yourself in the role of a wise owl, sitting high in a tree and looking down on the world below with unfiltered wisdom. Adopt virtue as your compass, a beacon that will lead you in the right direction and inspire you to act with honesty and conviction. Lecture 5. Engaging with Society You don't need a large social circle to make a difference in the world. Seneca would tell you that. Think of yourself as a positive letter carrier who brings joy and goodwill to people's homes every day. Your presence is like a ray of sunshine. It brightens up even the cloudiest of days. Be the unifying force in your community by planning events and volunteering for good causes. Seneca would encourage you to do just that. What matters is not the number of people you know, but the quality of those relationships and the difference you create in people's lives. Recognize that you are a force for good in the world and welcome the opportunity to be a change maker by performing acts of kindness, no matter how tiny. Lesson six, nurturing relationships. Seneca would highlight the significance of valuing the relationships we possess, comparing them to valuable treasures. Every relationship, regardless of its quantity, has its own inherent worth, just like precious stamps in a collector's album. Seneca encourages us to nurture these relationships with the same level of care and attention that a gardener devotes to delicate flowers. Seneca emphasizes the importance of cultivating meaningful connections rather than focusing solely on the number of relationships we have. Our relationships provide a comforting source of warmth, like a cozy bonfire on a chilly night during times of need. Seneca would inspire us to invest in meaningful connections, cherishing them as valuable treasures that enhance our lives. Lesson seven, embracing rejection. Epictetus encourages us to embrace the possibility of forming new connections. Even if there is a chance of rejection, he would compare it to the regret of not experiencing the exhilarating rush of a roller coaster because of a fear of heights. Epictetus embraced the unknown and ventured into uncharted territory with courage and open arms. Epictetus sees every rejection as a valuable lesson on the journey to discovering authentic connections. He always motivated us to see rejection as a stepping stone towards finding our true tribe, approaching new friendships with resilience and an open heart. We can embrace the journey of connecting with others knowing that each rejection brings us closer to those who truly belong in our lives. Lesson 8. Finding Connections Marcus Aurelius would remind us that there are many people who face challenges in finding companionship, just like lost puppies in search of a loving home. He would inspire us to be a source of hope for those who may be feeling lonely or isolated, providing guidance in their times of darkness. According to Marcus Aurelius, genuine connections go beyond barriers and boundaries. Just like puzzle pieces fitting together to create a complete picture, 
He encourages us to be the catalyst that sparks the fire of friendship in someone else's life, fostering a strong sense of belonging and camaraderie. Marcus Aurelius embraced the idea that by extending compassion and empathy to others, we not only enhance their lives, but also discover a sense of fulfillment and purpose within ourselves. Lesson 9. Your True Self-Worth Marcus Aurelius reminds us that our true value lies not in the quantity of our friendships, but in the quality of our character. He highlighted the importance of looking beyond appearances and recognizing that true worth is found within, rather than in the number of people we know. Marcus Aurelius would inspire us to discover our inner strength and resilience, just like a strong oak tree. Standing proudly in the midst of the forest, he encourages us to fully embrace our uniqueness and celebrate our individuality, comparing it to a precious gem that shines brightly in the sunlight, cherished for its rarity and brilliance. Lesson 10. Ethical Integrity Epictetus encourages us to remain steadfast in our principles, even when we find ourselves in isolation due to ethical considerations. He sees it as a shining example of integrity amidst a chaotic and compromising world. Epictetus embraced the importance of staying steadfast in our beliefs, even in the face of opposition. Just like a lighthouse, our unwavering dedication to truth and justice has the power to inspire others to do the same. Lesson 11. Seneca's Wisdom on Self-Reliance Seneca would encourage embracing self-reliance and finding fulfillment in solitude. He would describe it as a solitary wolf exploring the wilderness with confidence and elegance. Seneca viewed solitude as a chance for personal growth and development, similar to a warrior sharpening their abilities before going into battle. Seneca believed that embracing solitude can lead to profound self-discovery and personal growth, comparable to the transformation of a caterpillar into a majestic butterfly. Seneca teaches that by relying on ourselves, we can confidently face life's challenges and come out stronger and wiser. In these Stoic teachings, we find a timeless compass for navigating the complexities of solitude, friendship, and self-discovery. As we apply these lessons to our lives, may we embrace rejection as a stepping stone, value genuine connections, and discover our intrinsic worth. Let Stoic wisdom be our guiding light in the pursuit of a resilient and fulfilled existence. I hope these teachings stay with you and help you find peace, strength, and wisdom in your everyday life. Until we meet again, be calm. Be wise and keep swimming purposefully through life's waves. Join me on this path of enlightenment as we continue to get more profound insights on these type of lessons. Check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.